What's up, street thugs? Brig here, and let's talk about TeamSeas.org. So two years ago, Mr. Beast put together Team Trees and was able to plant 20 million trees by getting people to donate $20 million. But this time he's doing Team C, where they want to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the seas. And this is where we get involved. So we need everyone's help. Half of this money is going to go directly to trying to clear the oceans. And the other half is going to be going towards clearing out the rivers that lead into these oceans. And they're using that money to create these robot barges to collect and break down trash. This is a huge feat, but a feat that's totally doable. So if you want to get in on this, I will leave a link in the description so you can go check it out. TeamSeas.org. You will also be able to follow along on the progress as well as donate. But when I saw this, there was something that spoke to me. And that's this crazy, mysterious island of trash out in the middle of the ocean. But it's not just, just one giant island that's out in the middle of the ocean. It's actually following the currents that go through the oceans. You know the ones I'm talking about. Uh -huh! Rogers! Rogers! I once saw a documentary on this ocean current, and it said that it takes... 2,000 years for it to make this entire pass. And since plastic doesn't really break down, instead it turns into this micro leftover goop that ocean life are feeding off of. And of course, all that stuff gets in the, in the fish that we eat, the food that we eat, and it's contaminating so much more than just the oceans. So I'm here guys to ask you to help out any way you can. Let's help clean these oceans. Let's help clean the rivers. Let's help clean the beaches because it all ends up in the ocean, right? You can do something minor like take your plastics to a recycle center so they don't end up just in the trash. But Brig, it's a problem because plastic, it takes so much space. It does, right? The trick is take the lid off, twist it, and then scrunch it all together into a little ball and then put that lid right back on. It'll keep the air from getting back in it and it'll stay in a nice little compact ball. You can end up having like six times as much in that bag. And then take that down recyclable. And another big thing you can do to help. I don't know how this got lost over time. Maybe it's because we don't use as many cans that have the plastic rings on them. But I remember it was a big deal when I was younger. When I was in school, it was something they kind of drilled into us. That if you buy a, a six pack and it had those little rings on them. Those plastic rings. And we were showed so many videos of those getting into the ocean. And strangling birds. Strangling turtles. Strangling fish in general. And we were taught to cut those up. And I don't know what happened along the years. A lot of the generations that I've talked to, uh, younger generations that are, are adults, have never even heard of that. I've seen adults in their 20s, even early 30s, look at me and go, why are you cutting that up? Are you serious? This was this was drilled into me. This was ingrained into me. I, I cannot throw these rings out without cutting them up. I just can't do it. It just, in my soul, hurts if I don't. I have to do it. And somehow that's gotten lost. So that's something else we can do. If you aren't cutting these plastic rings up, cut them up. If you are out on a boat, a houseboat, out in the ocean or whatever, and you happen to have like a six pack of beer or something, cut those up. You probably have a knife on you. Just cut it up. I mean, the main goal is not to get in the ocean at all. But if it does, at least it's not going to strangle anything. Let's be a part of the solution. So if you want to check out the progress, go check out TeamSeas.org. There's also going to be a way for you to donate as well. This is an awesome thing, guys. we got to get behind this. Some of these beaches are just so dirty. And we're talking about $15 million that's going to go just to cleaning up these beaches and oceans. That's massive. And then the other half towards cleaning up the rivers. I mean, this is just a, a huge thing. We can do this. Let's all rally behind Mr. Beast for getting this set up to, for just to begin with, just get it set up. But thank you guys. Let's be a part of the solution. And I will see you again soon. Stay golden and take care. Bye-bye.